What's going on everybody? Once again, it's your boy back with another one. Hope you're enjoying your Monday out there. As always, we got some stuff coming. So we're about to get into it. But first, just want to thank everybody who's been commenting, the newcomers who've been subscribing, showing a lot of love, much appreciated here as always. Without further to do, let's get right into it. So, got a lot of things coming. Let's start with the Air Max 90 Worldwide. Now, the Worldwide pack has had a lot of sneakers. I'm somewhere in the number, of, I think, six or seven. I haven't even brought to you all the sneakers it's had. Air Maxes, Air Force One, a whole array of everything you want. So if you want to look at all the Worldwide pack, just look online. But these are the next installments. They're calling them the Katanas. Nice. I do like the concept, but the colors, it's a little, little too bright for me. We got white, we got baby blue, we got the vault. I do like the idea, but the branding is a little too much. A little too much for me. I do like the front of the shoe, that Nike Worldwide branding. But the way the front is full with four, five, or six checks, and on the side as well, it's a little, little too much overkill. That's the only thing I'm saying about that. I do like the concept, but they could have took it easy with the, the checks. We didn't need that many checks. We don't need nine checks on a sneaker. One or two, not even, just one. It's fine. So, if you want the Air Max 90 Worldwide 90s, coming soon. Now up next, the Air Force One Wild Camel. Something a little simple, but as well, a little different. Just a navy blue, low top, white bottom, but we got the little check, and that check right there, it's got a nice little camel pattern. So if you want to switch it up a little bit, this is going to be the camel one here. Not sure the exact date for Wild Camel. Should be coming sometime soon. Not sure the price point either. Pretty sure it's going to be somewhere regular price, no more than 110 These are nice, nothing too crazy, just something simple. Nothing too crazy, something simple. So if you want to add that to the Air Force One collections, the Wild Camos, they will be coming soon. I will keep you posted. Air Force One Shadows. Air Force One Shadows have been coming out with a lot of different ones. Not a huge fan of the Air Force One Shadows. They look like the Air Force One Low, except they added another strap on the side that says air so you have two air brandings also a, almost a caging system around it i'm not really too much of a fan of that it's almost a hybrid of an air force one low i would have just kept the air force one low but these are the space and chili colorway now i talked about these colorway before it's basically maroon and baby blue it also has black and it also has white in it something nice i just don't like the design of this sneaker the it, it has overlapping checks. It's, it's, a, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. I'm not a big fan of it. I've never seen it in hand, but I'm not sure if I want to see it in hand. So if you want to grab those up and you like the Air Force One shadows, the Space Chili colorway, and you want to grab those up, definitely grab those up. They're going to be 110, no special box, no hype. Nobody's um, even really worried about these. So it's a quick one if you like them. Now continuing on, Air Jordan 1 Grays. Now I mentioned these before. Something a little different on these. Took away the nylon branding and did an embroidered etching in the front. Does look nice. Looks a little different though. Laces are different. But here's the kicker. They're only making 2,020 pairs in Japan with a special box. All metal. So, nice collector's edition if you want it. It will come out retail for everybody else. I'm not sure the exact date. But sometime in July. Not sure the exact date. We will not get the box. So in the states or anywhere other than japan you're not getting the box so my friends in japan you're lucky you get the box but there's only 2020 of them so they will be numbered grab them up if you want them and then the regular release pair will go out for everybody else retail price 170s air jordan 1 se's so special editions going for 110 these are nice it has a nice tan oxford color also going with a nice gray color it almost looks like suede so it looks like a premium, nice, high quality mid. So if you want to grab the mids up and expand it to your collection, these Oxford tan and gray will be the way to go. Going for 110, so 110 is the price point. Definitely grab them up. Not sure on the release date. Should be coming in a couple weeks. And not sure about the box. I will let you know. Also, a lot more mids coming out. Like they're not going anywhere. So if you want to grab the Oxford tan mids. Definitely grab them up. Coming for 110 soon. I will let you know the price point. That's pretty much it. All of these, which ones I'm feeling? Uh, not the Air Force One Shadows. You can keep those. I would get the Oxford Tan Mids in gray 
with the suede looks like a nice premium I don't want the worldwide katanas like I said too many checks on those and the air joint one neutral grades that's definitely a cop the rest and eh, not really too interested in they're right so that's it on this side as always it's your boy Uptown Nick I'd like to thank everybody for hanging out thanks for those who are coming comments and subscribing if you're new around here if you like the video consider hitting the like button maybe subscribe come hang out why not you're here already get a video every day every other day depending on how I'm feeling as always it's your boy Uptown Nick and I'll catch you on the next one Thank <music> you.